Hi guys, it's James here from CADSpace. Uh, just here today to talk to you about the Thread Feature tool, which is new in 2016. So you find it under the whole wizard here. So I've got this thread option. Um, so in this instance, I'm going to put a thread on this outside face here, which means I need to use this metric die. And the size I'm going to use is 60 by 5.5, so fairly large thread, but this is a, a fairly big part. Um, maybe I'm wanting to 3D print this part or something like that which is why I need a physical thread on there and um, so I'll select my first edge and then what I want to go up to so that's what it's going to be cutting uh, in this example um, it's cutting all the way down to the bottom at the moment but I might put a bit of an offset there um, so that I've got a bit of free space underneath there 5.5 uh, looks good so you can see that's cut the thread nicely there, and it's all linked to the geometry as well. So if I then go and change this length here, that's going to all update nicely. And um, not, it's not like I'm going to have to change the length of my helix like I would have had to do in previous versions. Uh, I can also modify some of the options here, like this uh, pitch. By default it's 5.5, but I can choose to override that. So if I set that to 11, so double the, the default pitch, then that gives me enough space that I can actually do a circular pattern on this thread. So pattern that feature around the cylinder. And what that's going to give me is a multi-start thread. So this is now a double start thread with um, M60. Uh, the other option that I was going to show you, or the other example I was going to show you, is creating an Archimedes screw. So in this case, I'm just going to draw my cylinder to start with. I'm going to use my uh, basis to put the thread feature on. I'm going to make this angled line 1 meter. And then I'm actually going to use a feature that was improved in 2016, this swept boss or base. So instead of drawing this profile like I would have had to do previously, maybe creating a plane there, drawing my circle and dimensioning it, I can just say circular profile, tell it what size I'd like it to be, which in this case is 100 mil select my path and it's created that for me so much quicker way of doing that as well so once I've got that I can create my thread feature and now I'm going to use a profile which I created myself based off one of these other ones uh, called Archimedes screw profile so it's a pretty simple profile um, all it is is sort of an angle section basically so I'll select my first edge that I want to go from uh, then where I want to go up until and you can sort of see what that profile is going to look like. At the moment it's pink, which means that it's going to try and cut this thread. Obviously in this case that's not what we're after. We're wanting to create geometry, so I'm going to choose to extrude the thread instead. So if I accept that, that's what it looks like. So you can see what my, um, what my profile that I created looks like. And if I want, I can go and modify this and I can change it so I've got a few configurations of my profile I basically made a small medium large so the 120 mil arm is the large if I choose the 60 mil you can see it gets a fair bit smaller there um, I can also change things like the uh, the pitch on this custom one as well so in my profile I set it to be 150 mil profile uh, sorry uh, pitch I can change that to 100 mil to make this a bit more dense and as you can see that's what it ends up looking like um, so that makes it a much easier um, easier way to do these sort of helical sweeps uh, if you have any questions or ideas for other blog posts you'd like us to do let us know in the comments see ya